Baby Bear, Baby Bear, by Eric Carle, read by me, Sherry. After the story, I'll be asking you related questions in our Let's Talk segment. If you want to jump to it right now, click the timestamp in the YouTube video description below. And be sure to stick around until the end because I've got a terrible animal joke for you. Yep, it's so terrible that you're going to love it. Now, let's start the story. Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? I see <gasps> a red fox slipping by me. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see... <gasps> a flying squirrel gliding by me. Whee! Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see <gasps> a mountain goat climbing by me. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see <gasps> a blue heron flying by me. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see <gasps> a prairie dog digging by me. Prairie dog. Prairie dog, what do you see? I see <gasps> a striped skunk strutting by me. Striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see <gasps> a mule deer running by me. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see oh, a rattlesnake sliding by me. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a <gasps> screech owl hooting at me. Screech Owl, Screech Owl, what do you see? Ooh, I see, hmm, um, a mama bear looking at me. Hello! So now I need your help. This is Mama Bear. We're going to say this all together. Mama Bear, Mama Bear, what do you see? We're going to start after I say the magic word, which is pickled onion. Are you ready? Pickled onion. Mama Bear, Mama Bear, what do you see? Well, oh, dearie me. Hmm, let me think. What can I see? I can see all the animals. Do you remember which ones they were? Quick, pause the video and you tell me all the animals that were in the story. Can you do that? A mule deer, yes, a mule deer. And a rattlesnake. 
And the last one was, um, don't tell me it's on the tip of my tongue, it was a, you said it, it was a screech owl. Well done. And my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see. And here is how I would like to say Thank you very much for helping me in bear language. And now as promised it's time for questions. Let's talk. Like and subscribe. This is Eric Carl. He's the author of this book, Baby Bear, Baby Bear, and so many other books like the one he's wearing on his shirt. Did you see it? The Very Hungry Caterpillar. If you want to find out more about his books, just check the description below. And now I want you to answer these questions. This beautiful animal is known as a red fox. Which colour would you say it really is? A red fox is an orangey colour and it can also vary between a yellowish colour to a deep auburn and even white. Can a flying squirrel really fly? Whee! Despite its name, a flying squirrel cannot actually fly. It glides. It can jump from a branch and actually glide around to the next tree for up to 450 meters. Wow! Here's a photo of some mountain goats climbing a dam that is 160 foot high. That is very high. Do you think these mountain goats can really do this? Yes, they can. These goats are up there for a reason. I've put a link in the description and if you want to find out what these goats are up to, just click on it and you'll see. This is a blue heron. They like to eat fish. Do you think herons chew and swallow or do they just gulp the fish down whole? They swallow them down whole. No chewing. Make sure you chew. Prairie dogs are not dogs. Do you think they could be related to the squirrel family? Hmm. Yep, prairie dogs are related to the squirrel family. And they're also relatives of chipmunks. A skunk sprays out a very smelly, and I mean really smelly, oily substance from his bottom. Why? The skunk does this to protect himself. If he thinks you're the enemy, he'd turn around, lift up his tail and... Yep, he'll spray you with this awful stinky substance that will make you run away and he'll be safe. Is a mule deer related to a mule? No, it's not related to a mule. It's just called a mule deer because of the shape of its ears. They're big, just like a mule deer. Where is a rattlesnake's rattle located? A rattlesnake's rattle is at the end of its tail. It shakes it and it vibrates. The rattling noise scares predators away. Why do owls make so much noise at night time and not during the day? You hardly see an owl during the day. They sleep and they come out at night time. They're wide awake, they're in search of food and their only means of communication is to hoot and twit to woo and to screech around. 
animals that sleep during the day and are wide awake at night time in search for food and hunting are called nocturnal animals. And now I think it's time for my bad joke. Like and subscribe, baby. I'll fight you with my bare hands. <sighs> oh dear. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.